Well, the last two men in an 18-wheeler were hit and killed by an Amtrak train last night near Byram. Uh, they were killed. Uh, they killed James Creel of Mississippi and Scott Hartosok of Florida. Now, Hartsock was a popular monster truck driver, and he was in town to perform tonight. 12 News' Gary Burton Jr. joins us with how he is being remembered and honored. Gary? Tonight, monster truck driver Scott Hartsock was scheduled to do what he's done since 1992, but his tragic death prevented that. The monster trucks event decided to go on with the event, despite Hartsock's passing, to honor him, but it had to be canceled because of weather. An insane driver, experienced team player, and joyous friend is how well-known monster truck driver Scott Harsock is described. We miss him tremendously already. Harsock from Florida and James Krill of Meridian, Mississippi were hidden killed by an Amtrak train carrying 148 passengers while towing a tractor trailer to the Jackson Motor Speedway in an 18-wheeler for the show on Friday. It was a question if they were going to postpone the event, but announcer Joel Folk says Hart Sox family told him that he'd want the show to go on. We'll be continuing without Scott Hart Sox, but in his honor, uh, we're dedicating this weekend and our shows to him. Both men, Hart Sox and Creel, are being honored with a memorial next to the train tracks. Byron Police Chief David Arrington says the intersection where the accident took place doesn't have crossing arms and flashing lights, and this issue has been talked about. That has been brought up in the past, however, at, at this point we have no solidified information as to when that would cross in arms and flashing lights would come up on that intersection. A lady who lives nearby says it's devastating to hear that two men lost their lives this way. I really strongly believe that the railroad, whatever the company from the railroad should provide that. There's a lack of a warning system here. Uh, there are signs, but there are also, you know, natural trees growing along here, and it's a difficult turn to make. Falk says Harsock was known as the smiling monster truck driver, and although he won't drive again, his legacy will roll on. And out of the 148 passengers, zero were injured. And although night one of this weekend event at the Jackson Motor Speedway was postponed due to weather, if you purchased a ticket tonight, it will be good for any event for this weekend shows. For 12 News, I'm Gary Burton, Jr. Back to you.